and welcome back to our channel. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Good morning, welcome. So I've started the vlog without James this morning. We're on a bit of a time scale. I think he's literally running around upstairs. He was like, you start the vlog. I'll run down and join when I'm ready. Yeah, we've just rolled out of bed. We've got the carpenter coming early this morning. So um, it's all go, go, go. So I've just, well, I mean, I've actually been up for a little bit with Amber already. Um, but yeah, we rolled out of bed this morning feeling like zombies, all of us. Um, Amber was up quite late last night teething. Um, you got your little spikes coming through. I can feel them. I can feel them. <laughs> so yeah, she's still a bit like, hmm, teething baby, all of that jazz. So yeah, we're all feeling like zombies, rolled out of bed. But it's a great day ahead, guys. Honestly, you won't be able to stop me smiling today. Two of my favourite things are happening. Panelling and a house viewing for our fixer-upper. We're not moving house. <laughs> are you smiling yeah. for daddy here? Yeah. Whoa! Hello. That's a nice smile for daddy. What? Good morning, boo. Pa. Boo. Pa. Ow. <laughs> Chip in the face. Quick slap in the face. <laughs> Cover tea? Yes. I would love a cup of tea. Oh, so I yeah. Have coffee, actually. Ooh. Tea for Since when did you have? Oh, I've already brought you a cup of tea. You brought me a cup of tea in bed. I was like a little princess. I know. I know. Lovely. I was just saying we've got. Well, according to me, we've got the best day ever. Um, Panelling and a house viewing. Like, yeah. could that get any more glorious? I in... know you're very excited about both, aren't you? Yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing about both, guys. Okay, so let's go and look at what's being panelled. So the carpenter's coming this morning. Same carpenter that did the radiator cover, this gorgeous radiator cover. Um, we found him through Instagram and like I've just been saying, I've been absolutely loving, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier to be honest, finding like either recommendations or people that follow my Instagram, finding like people through that has been so amazing. And like, I've never felt more grateful for having that platform on Instagram where I've just like put on my story, you know, if you are a carpenter, message me, or if you know one, message me, blah, blah, blah. I found so many lovely people, so, so many lovely people. So yeah, this carpenter is so lovely and he's come in this morning. Um, and when we did the radiator cover, we talked all about paneling in the hall and we measured up and everything. Let's see if you'll go down. You gonna go on the floor while I talk? You can do a little bit of bum shuffling. Look, you got your little corn. Um, yeah, she doesn't want to be put down today, yeah, bless her. So, um... <laughs> wow. Oh, this is our little routine. Shutter routine. Whee. Shutter opening routine. You're going to have to learn it. Nobody needs to learn it. Because mummy's never opened the shutters before. I know, honestly, I don't. And those ones down there. And it does make a big difference when you open them. Like, I feel like it's like the start of the day then. You're letting the light in, aren't you? Because otherwise, I feel like, because we don't use this room during the day, oh. but still, we usually sit in the hallway. Sit yeah. in the hallway, and you look at it, this room's just dark. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Because we only come in here in the evenings. Yeah, I do forget to, to open them, but it does make a massive Hi. difference. Although there is Hi. a cup of tea there, so it looks like someone's been watching a bit. Oh, yeah, early. we have been in here this morning. And I need to clear this up. I have been tinting my eyebrows. Although this actually isn't the That's eyebrow tint. definitely not my chocolate that ice cream. That is your chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Brilliant. But yeah, I did tint my eyebrows this morning and they're quite dark, but I am feeling them. I've got another in the style shoot coming up and so I always try and tint my eyebrows before the shoot just because then I don't need to put anything on my eyebrows then for the shoot and they just look quite kind of That's like crazy. defined. Have you ever thought about not tinting them and then also not putting anything on them? God, I'm just excited about that idea. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, that's so good. A natural, a natural beauty. No, we love tinting the eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, okay. I'll just stop <laughs> He's been trying since the day he met me to encourage me that I just look beautiful without anything on my face, but it hasn't changed anything, has it? I, I mean, I do actually love myself without makeup. Like, when I first met you, I definitely didn't. I was lacking my self-love. But now I'm definitely at a place where I do love myself without makeup, but it's such a weird one, like, but I also just love putting it on. I don't yeah, know. It's understandable. It's, it's strange. Like, it's like being a clown. <laughs> like, I'm sure clowns love themselves as the Without the clown. normal human adults they are. Yeah. But then, you know, they get so excited to become a clown. To be the clown. And go to the kids' parties. And that's me. Or the circus. I just, I honestly... 
I do get excited yeah. to paint my face in the morning. Yeah, no, I don't know why we can't explain it, but it just, I just love it. I think it just, and it's the same every day as well. It's so repetitive. Same mascara, same foundation, same lip color. Like I don't even jazz it up. Like a cloud. Can you just go? Have the same persona get every out. day. Get out. Anyway, ignore him. So. Yes. Oh, uh, you're still here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Don't go anywhere. So yeah, we're having paneling done this morning. He's come in um, to do that. So I think we're going. I mean, I'm, I was hoping I'd done the paint samples under the paneling, but now I'm realising I don't think it. I think it is. Roughly yeah. Because I tried to do it. I mean, I've painted them everywhere, as you can see. I think we had it like above here, didn't we? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I was hoping that that was going to be. Anyway. We're going to run it under that mirror or something. I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's what I thought. Thing. In terms of Ooh. colours, what? Well, it's all quite a rustic look, and then it's just like Starbucks mug. Oh, I know. I Does that? Starbucks mug. It sounds quite rustic. Does it almost. work? It's the branding that might not work. Um. But I think the look of the mug kind of does work. Oh, so like if I just, yeah. what, you think the Starbucks is a bit cringe? Oh, well, it's just the, the old, you know, the kind of rusticness of the thing and then oh, the first. Oh, yeah, I get you. Feeling. So maybe like, you know, Burke, like rustic vibes, like just been reading with a coffee. Yeah, of course, that works. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know, I'm feeling it. You're on my vibes, though. Fake cup of coffee just for the aesthetic. That's how far we got to go. And that we'll is not for up. that. But like obviously we just have to dye water, otherwise we'll go on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it because we're just going to leave it there forever? Yeah. Okay, so we've been testing loads of samples, loads of colours. Um, these were all painted for our bedroom. So our bedroom is like, we still haven't quite decided. Slick Lime is like our favourite colour ever. we got Mid in the bathroom. Well, they're my favourite colours um, because they are like the perfect kind of like, okay, beigey colours. So uh, James is going more towards dark in the bedroom. In the bedroom yes. And I'm going more towards deep. They're very, very similar. So we'll probably go with my choice. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. We will probably go with James's because um, I am actually swaying more towards the darker colour. And then just, yeah, to re remind you of our bedroom. I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with house stuff. So now I'm just giving you a whole house update on every single material we've chosen. But that's our bed colour that we've ordered. That's our what? Elmo's face planted. Where's Elmo? Elmo's face planted. Is that funny? Elmo! Oh, Elmo! Ah, that's nice. Oops. Pop you. Hi. Pop you <laughs> so yes, that's our bedroom vibes. So the reason I was saying that was because I was kind of trying to stay away from being too similar to the bedroom. I wanted to do something a bit different. So I ordered some of these Benjamin Moore samples, which were like the stick-on ones. Which are somehow more expensive than the green samples. I know. They're just getting out of control, paint samples. And honestly, look, I've ordered three. But I posted that on my story and people were like, um, aren't they all the same colour? I was like, rude, because I spent loads of money on that. So, yeah, they do all look the same colour and that's awkward. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I went for this pale oak on the wall and I was thinking, okay. But then I ordered it's the actual... Pale oak. Yeah, why? Well, it's just grey. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. I know, the colours... Oak tree, and yeah, I don't think that signifies it, you know. What's slaked lime? How is that well, even... Well, at least that's just like a random mix of words in uh, some yeah. ways. <laughs> Pale oak sounds like a pale oak tree. Yeah, it does actually. But maybe that is like a really pale oak colour. No, it's not. Um, okay, honey. Okay. <laughs> this uh, was the actual pale oak paint because I wanted to order the paint so I could see how similar they were. So I see if I could trust these. They are quite similar, but like I still do like prefer I that. I then one. went out in the back garden and just started burning hash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I did. And then this is Slate Lime Deep. So, oh, I don't know anymore. Honestly, I've given up with colours. I, I, I kind of thought like that was the winner. And then I posted it on my story and everyone voted for that. Did vote for that. I was like, oh, I'm shocked. But <laughs> they know that we're paddling the bottom of a white on top. Shocked. Did you make that clear? I did. did oh. I did make this clear. Lots of people know the situation. I just think that when you when the type of pattern we're going for is quite it's a little bit old fashioned, isn't it? It's not modern kind of cool. Yeah. Color. It's quite and that is just like a really modern, almost like a cool colour. The middle one. And you just think that's not warm enough? So like people a bathroom. You think you need like a warm bottom colour? I know. But <laughs> but no one knows what they're on about. Oh, Amps. You choose. You choose. 
Um, you choose Ada. Yeah, I thought so. You choose what Red. <laughs> wow, red. that would be bold. So yeah, I'm not sure. I th people's general thing was that once you paint the whole, once you paint like a larger scale, it does go a tone darker. So people thought that would be too dark. So I am sort of also swaying towards this. We do have quite a large light hallway though. We do. We do. Anyway, I'm probably pretty sure it's going to be one of those two colours. Lots of people were saying to go for slate fly mid, um, but it just seems too similar. But then again, that is timeless on the wall, and we are going to go yeah, a lighter, a lighter colour. Um, so I might paint a bit of slate fly mid and a bit of, anyway, anyway. One of these colours will be it. Carpenter's coming soon. Yeah, because I trust YouTube more than Instagram. <laughs> He trusts you guys more. I feel like you do know every nook and cranny of the house, so you yeah. probably are the better so people to trust. Think? Do you think this bench will more pale? Yeah, okay. Or the slaked lime deep? Let's go same as Instagram. I put this as number one and this is number two. That's 60% I know of people voted number two. Because I put this as number one because I thought that was going to be number one. So what are we saying? One, two. One, two. One is darker. Two is and lighter. We'll do a pop-up of the panelling we're thinking of doing. Yeah. What we are doing, so then you can... You'll be able to see it now by the end of the day. Yay! Woo! You'll be able to see it by the end of the video. The panelling will be up, won't it? Yeah, yeah. It'll just be in wood. Yeah, than... it'll just be in this colour, probably. Yeah. Similar. Anyway, he's coming soon. Woo! So, I've come up to my dressing room. I'm on a bit of a different camera here, so I don't know what the like sound and everything is going to be like in comparison to the other one we're using. It's so different. It's also like the screen's up there, so I'm like, hiya guys. Um, it's really different from our one that we use currently, but we used to use this one all the time, so throwback. Okay, I am, whilst Amber's napping, she's literally napping next door, so I need to be quiet. Um, I'm gonna try and organize my Gymshark drawer. So this is like my dressing room for anyone that didn't know. See, I feel like this doesn't have image stabilization, so I'm really sorry if the camera's really shaky, but I'm just trying to show you. So this is my like dressing room slash content filming area. Um, and I've got like all my clothes in there and then this little chest of drawers here, well, it's not little, is full of Gymshark clothes. So I've been working with Gymshark for like six years now. Um, I just love working with them, best brand ever. Um, but yeah, I am very, very lucky and fortunate that I get a lot of Gymshark clothes along with working with them. Um, so every now and then I'll do like a big, big clear out of all my Gymshark clothes and offer them to my friends and family um, and everything like that. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna like sort through and make some space and just, you'll probably be able to tell from the footage, it is like absolutely crammed. Um, and then obviously anything that doesn't, isn't wanted by friends and family can go down to charity shops. Um, so yeah, I love doing this every now and then. And today's the day, I'm gonna make the most of the napping baby and organize the drawers. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse because I know we're all loving the time lapses at the moment. I do love a time lapse. just like popping out to his van and back um so yeah at least you're not cussing and stuff outside yeah it's so, so. good like it, it's literally like mess free noise free like everything because he does it from his van which like he parks right outside so it's good isn't it yeah. Yeah. Cracking. cracking so yeah we're just sat here doing some planning and everything amber's gone down for a really early well yeah. compared to usual a very early nap because obviously she was up late last night and then up early this morning so she needs to catch up on the sleep so she was definitely ready for a nap so she's gone down so it's given us a nice little bit of time to kind of like plan and schedule yeah i was seeing on um another person's story that i followed today a mum who was on about her baby dropping a nap and how difficult that That's traumatizing oh honestly you, you've got like a grip on this you know parent life and then they drop a nap and you're like when it's the time of the day now yeah when do you tidy <laughs> when do you do the laundry and that's literally exactly what she was saying like every time he would go for a nap she would do all those things and now she's like, when do I do them? So yeah, I'm feeling for anyone who's going through that transition or just has no napping babies. I'm feeling for you right now. Um, and the memory card's running out of memory, so I'll be back. <laughs> so I am going to take out my two baby girls on a dog walk and Karis is going to stay at home and be lazy. No. 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 
I'm no. lots of organising to do. Okay. I'm resting the pelvic floor, guys. Yeah. So I've just started training back, like properly, like weightlifting and stuff in the gym. And my physio did Hello. say that it. Hello. <laughs> my physio did say that it could sort of make my pelvic floor yeah. feel very, very weak, and like I need to be like careful with recovery and stuff a bit. So yeah. I'm being kind to myself today, no dog walk, no gym. Just... I'd like to see some evidence of what this physio has said. <laughs> um, she says, know. I must have breakfast in bed every morning. And the breakfast must be cream eggs <laughs> on toast. That's been my breakfast, but literally, <laughs> those, those are going, those glass Easter eggs. They honestly do, they are empty now, thank goodness. We've got to get rid of them. We do, they need to leave the kitchen surface because Carrots and I have no control in life and the second they get filled with mini eggs or any kind of chocolate, oh, they just get eaten within awful. like 24 hours. It's shocking, it's shocking, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I am gonna shoot out, Elmo isn't coming with us, he won't fit. I'm getting a smaller one guys, it's massive. Yeah. And I know you want it back. Yeah. Look, she can't even hug it, she can't even, she tries to drag it round with her. I know, he's too heavy. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely need a smaller one. Yeah. I've been doing like some bits of research all morning. <gasps> something very exciting. Um, we we are doing in the, in the next few months. We said um, in the last vlog what it was, so we can say. Not a surprise. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna pretend it is. Okay. So I've been chilling, doing some research this morning on that, staring at a laptop. And I've had one of those mornings where I've stared at a laptop and I just feel like I'm completely out of it and I don't know what time it is or what day it is. It's only 10 past 11. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting out and getting some fresh air with my two girls. When I say two girls, I mean Amber and Mila. <laughs> She's there. Hello. Daddy's gone. He's gone to get your sleep suit from the car. So they're having off now. I just thought I would give you a quick update on the panelling. So, da -da -da -da. oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. So yeah, this is the start of it. It was actually originally meant to be lower, more towards where the paint samples are. Um, but with the skirting board, this skirting board that goes up the stairs here is a little bit higher than the rest of the house. So the panelling would have come very like basically to keep it going around the wall at the same height it would have ended up because obviously the skirt is higher it would have ended up being like looking really small the paneling going upstairs it would look really silly so even at this extended height going up the stairs it's at this where this black mark is which you can see is still quite looks quite short <gasps> hi you waving are you waving at mila hi mila um so yeah we had to basically put it a little bit higher, so then it will come up to this black mark, which like I said, is still quite short, but any shorter than that would have just looked ridiculous. So I'm really glad that he's picked up on that. It's gonna look so good. Do you like it? Yeah, it's gonna look really good. I know, I, I was so surprised. James came into the kitchen saying, I think that paneling's gonna look really good. I was like, wow. I guess it's because I'm not entirely sure about our paneling in the- Yeah, yeah, our downstairs. This seems so much neater. Yeah, and we're putting beading on top as well. Yes. So it won't be like a bare edge. In between. Yeah, so that we're putting like beading all around it. Like I feel like the carpenter that's doing this panelling has like really good suggestions and like as well with the stairs and everything, like he picked up on that, that it would look weird with the heighting and stuff and like- The heighting. He, the heighting, <laughs> <laughs> heighting. He's got, he wants it. Yeah, he just makes sure everything's perfect, which makes such a big difference, doesn't it? And with the radiator cover as well, like he put in this radiator cover and although it's like fixed, you can't really move it and it's like child safe and everything. Um, with once we put the panelling in and it comes down to on top of the radiator cover and you can't see it because of that once it comes down to on top of there obviously you wouldn't be able to lift off the radiator cover so you're going to put in a new mechanism on the side which will allow us to pull it out away from the panelling rather than having to lift it up so yeah he's thought of everything yeah okay bye bye I gotta take it <laughs> you gotta take it you gotta take it you're so excited <laughs> James and, and Mila have gone just waved them, waved them. Wow, my words are not coming out straight. I just waved them goodbye. Um, I feel so lonely. I've got an empty house. It feels way too quiet in here. So yeah, I'm gonna make the most of this time. The carpenters just popped out to get some um, something from Screwfix. Uh, but yeah, I think we just we just showed the panel in, didn't we? Yeah, I'm so so excited for it to come together. But I'm gonna make the most of this time and continue sorting through my. Gymshark drawers and then move on to doing like some laundry and just some organizing and as much of that kind of house organization stuff as I can do. The room is looking like an absolute mess. Amber was just here with me when she woke up. So she has obviously sprawled my makeup bag across the whole floor. 
and yeah we're getting we're doing really really well with organizing it but we've still got quite a bit more to do so yeah let's crack on Amber and james are obviously out on their dog walk i've just sprayed loads of dry shampoo on my hair hence why it's like whitey slash yellowy sorting out is going really well definitely need some fresh tulips that one is not looking too fresh but we are going on a supermarket shop later so i'll make sure i refresh the tulips i'm just cooking a bolognese um, for all of us when they get back they should be back in about half an hour I was just on the phone to James so we'll all have a bolognese together before going out for a food shop and then we have the house viewing this afternoon I'm so excited hello we are reunited hi hello we're on, hello. Way, to on our way to Asda price that's Asda price <laughs> oh yes these eyebrows are looking very tinted I always do struggle to adjust to them I haven't noticed they look good that's always a good thing yeah because you... Oh, I just haven't, haven't looked at your face. In the I mean, yeah, years. I say that that's always a good thing. Weird. You literally don't even notice if I shave all my hair off, so... Yeah, I wouldn't notice that. I could literally have eyebrows like that thick and you probably you wouldn't probably notice. Yeah, dye your hair like a bright red. I know, you've been better. Chemically. That I'm was like you in the past. Yeah. When we first met. But but it takes me a moment to actually sit down and look, you know? Yeah, but that's nice because you don't see people for how they look. No. <laughs> No. I don't really see people. <laughs> You're too busy in I your head. I see ghosts and ghouls. <laughs> wow. Um, so yeah, we're off to Asda. We're going to do a bit of a shop. Um, we've had a bit of a drama with the panelling. Um, yeah. Hello. What sort of noise was that? It was a dolphin sound. <laughs> That's a very cheeky smile. Yeah, he basically hit um, one of the central heating pipes when he was pinning the panelling on the wall. Um, so there's been a bit of drama, there was water spurting everywhere, um, I was trying to cook my bolognese, I was holding a bucket of water, it was all fun bolognese and games. Bolognese under one arm, water under the other, I was on a dog walk. I know, I was calling so. James, I was like, James, where's the boiler, this is embarrassing. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's all sorted now, um, and it's, yeah, it's getting there. We're going in, Croissant, that's Welsh for welcome. Croissant, welcome. Learning a bit of Welsh there. We should do Welsh words of the day. Hey, hey, are you ready? This is literally her, one of her favourite things to do is just walk around in a supermarket looking at things. It's just so, so fascinating for her. But show how big they are. So she's in between at the moment, 9 to 12 and 12 to 18. Like, when did... What? When did you get so big? They don't look that much bigger than the 9 to 12, actually. No, really? Oh, look up at the 9 to 12 look. And she's in that size right she's now. She's just small in some ways. What's happening to you? Why are you getting so big? <laughs> and yes, she doesn't have socks on because I do put them on. Hey. She kicks them off straight away, Missy. She just doesn't like anything on her head and anything on her socks and loves chewing on the handle. Woo! Has to just have the cutest things. Like, they have cutest, hey. like, neutral, and they've got the matching tops as well. Maybe oh. we should get them as well. Should we get the matching tops? Like, 12 to 18, that just looks. Like, I was going to say, I could wear that. <laughs> okay, hun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, still looks massive. Look how cute this is. They don't have their size in this, but it's adorable. You love chatting now. <laughs> Look at this little set. Don't even go there with her being in one to one and a half. That's just not even okay, but that's the cutest little set. And this is technically the boys section. I'm not sure. Oh no, they've they just labelled it as kids. kids. I like that. Yeah. yeah, I always love it when shops do kind of like, yeah. you know, just shop anywhere. Because okay then to like categorise by colour. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. The neutrals and stuff. Ma, ma, ma. Yeah, it's, it's good to not categorise. It is, yeah. Oh look, la, leggings. Oh my gosh, yes. I just love a neutral legging. With like a sweatshirt. Okay, I need this outfit in my life. <laughs> no, we're back from Asda with this little bum shuffler. Mila's having some food over there. She's very excited. <laughs> little Pails going. You excited, Pails? Is it food time? <laughs> um, we just picked up some costas on the way home. Cappuccino for two. And then, oh yes, yeah, you I didn't so say. Don't let, don't let, let her get the water bowl. <laughs> Guys, she's obsessed with Mila's water bowl, obviously, because it's like a little splashing station. Um, we are up to cheeky. You cheeky girl. Yeah, and then after this, we are off to the most exciting part of the day, the house viewing. I'm so excited. So yeah, if anyone hasn't been following like some of the previous times when we've mentioned this, um, we are looking for a house to do like a fix up, fixer wrapper, I call it, not a proper word, fixer wrapper like project on. Um, 
yeah, we're just really excited to kind of make some content. I know that you guys have loved our kind of like home renovation, like fixing up content. Um, and like my dream has always been like to do up a house from like, not from scratch, but you know, like something that's really run down and like make it into like an amazing like family home kind of thing. So yeah, I'm so excited. Um, we've seen loads and none of them have been quite right for us for various reasons um, and we're seeing one today that I'm really 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 excited about I hope you like it in person because if we do I really like want to put in an offer um, so yeah we'll see but we're viewing that in a bit and we're going to drop Amber off um, with my sister and her girlfriend slash wifey to be slash they're getting married this summer very exciting um, so yeah Amber's going to her auntie's for some fun because we always kind of like to go without her when possible to the house viewings just so we can like focus. really focus, look around, like get our business heads on, get our... Also, most of the time there's danger of us falling through the ceiling. Yeah. So it's probably best not to have a baby. Mm, yeah, there's either like, you know, holes everywhere or just like, yeah, much safer without a baby there. So that's where she's going today. <laughs> what was that? Did you have fun? Hey, did you have fun with your aunties? Did you? Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a yes. I'm loving the food on the jumper. That was actually my doing when we got back to the nurse. We just started feeding her a pouch on the sofa. Um, and she got it everywhere. So James is busying away in the kitchen. We're going to show the panel. Yeah. Right. Come with us, Ams. And the massive hole in the wall. Come with us. Yes, we did explain that we hit a pipe and all of that. So I that will be... <laughs> that'll be what that is down there but we do have the start of the panelling so do you see what I mean by this I was explaining earlier why we went shape isn't it yeah we yeah. had to go higher because as you can see running oh, up, higher yeah 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 running up the stairs it's actually quite a, quite a small amount of panelling compared to how high um, it is out here and this is actually higher than I originally wanted and I do think it would look have looked better slightly lower I think it's a really good height actually mm. I think I don't think like I think there I think here and stuff I think it looks a good height I think any lower might look a bit strange do you think yeah. yeah I think it's a good height the ceilings are quite high so it works quite well because you've still got obviously that's like midway you've still got a majority like oh, I yeah. wanted it it's like still nowhere near half is it's it? like a third yeah almost yeah a bit more than third um, but then up the stairs it's obviously quite a small amount of panelling so it had to be like yeah. that to get enough panelling up the stairs um, so yeah and we went for a block here because otherwise it would have been weird with like an outline and outline and like a slither down the middle of the wall I don't think there would have been space for a slither actually there. no there wouldn't have been space because of the fact that obviously we're putting beading as well in inside so there wouldn't have been a way to do that so yeah, anyway, me and the carpenter decided to just put an MDF block there. He doesn't talk to me. No. Honestly, I'm sitting in the kitchen and he's like, is Karis around? And I'm like, oh no, she's upstairs putting Amber down for a nap behind me. And he's like, I'll wait until Karis is done. I'm like, okay. That's Look, cool. I do all the design. I'm literally like, when they come, I'm like, don't listen to anything. James says, like, okay. You know how a lot of trades, not a lot, that's a complete lie. But you know how, like, you know, you see movies and the tradespeople are, yeah. like, sexist and stuff. Yeah. In terms of they'll talk to the men and, you know, yeah. oh, don't worry, you pretty little cotton pitting socks yeah. about it. I'll, you know, I'll talk to your husband. Don't worry, and the woman. Like, he used to talk to me. I'm like, okay. And I was like, no, no, you can talk to me. And we discussed it for a while. And I was like, I'm waiting till Karis is down. I'm waiting till Karis is down. And then she can decide what's going on. That's the thing. <laughs> Even if you would, you wouldn't, like, you'd be, you'd have an, an idea, but then you'd also yeah. still want to speak to me about it anyway. Yeah. Wouldn't you? I would. The panelling comes down to me. Anything other than that? James. No, not anything. Panelling. Really. Uh, you, have, you, you have full control of everything in the house in a good way. Mm. No, we do. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do. I listen to you and then you I just make the decision. You do. You take my points on board and then um, they go off at the next stop. <laughs> People are going to come at me idea. for being controlling. Look, guys, so, it's to not... Be fair, to be fair, though, you wanted the radiator to cover. I didn't. Yeah. And it looks amazing. Thank you. It's really amazing. And I wanted the panelling. You weren't sure. And I'll, I, it looks good so far. Thank you. Although we did hit a pipe. We did hit a pipe. So yeah, that's down there. Sorting that out. Hello, you. Well, it's all sorted, to be oh, fair. gorgeous. Yeah, sorry. It's all sorted well, obviously now. Obviously, going to patch it tomorrow, but the panelling's going over it anyway, so. Yeah, you won't see it, obviously. Um, and yeah, we're still undecided on a colour, but I think once the panelling's up, um, I'm just going to get, get busy with the testers. Do we need to then use a wood paint? Like mm. you would on skirting. I think so. Obviously, you can get it mixed, but they're often more expensive. Which I'll is ask him, actually. 
What a shame. What a shame. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, hi, I did work on the gym. Did you? Well I did done. Very briefly, very briefly. Well, well done. Second. <laughs> I think that's about as long as I'm I in the gym. Go. Vlog's over. Gym, gym, now. Woo! <laughs> So we are just celebrating because, guys, we've just put in an offer on our fixer upper. How exciting! I actually can't believe How it. Exciting. I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Why? It's, 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 yeah, you're because you just spent <laughs> too much money on a house. Um, no, it's going to be so exciting. Um, obviously we don't know if it's been accepted yet so I don't know why I'm saying we're celebrating as if we've actually gotten the house we haven't we've just put in an offer we're very excited it's weird because it's through purple brick so it's kind of like your it is strange isn't it yeah rather than like doing it through an estate agent you're doing it like directly to the homeowner even though the homeowner wasn't the person who showed us around because I know that with purple bricks that can sometimes be the case and I was kind of excited to meet the owner because I wanted to be like oh my god love your house um but it wasn't so very excited sometimes when we do the house viewings I show like sneak peeks of the house but I thought because I was so convinced that I really wanted to put in an offer for this one I just thought you've just got to wait now until the house tour whoa, 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 whoa. if we get the house whoa, 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 whoa. If we get, the I know. You're feeling optimistic, aren't you? Oh God, yeah. <gasps> so optimistic, guys. It's the only way to be. I just feel like you have to be optimistic in life, and then when things don't go to plan, you just have to then think, okay, well. Don't get me wrong. I'm a very optimistic plan B person, but I'm not a particularly excitable person. No, you're not like. So oh my optimism levels are quite here. Yeah, because I feel like you a lot of the time maybe have a bit of a better balance with like yeah this is really exciting but also there's a lot of potentially yes. stressful there's a lot of work to do to the house there's a lot of things that are going to be very yeah stressful and like i don't know you probably balance those sides yeah. with more just like Ooh! which is just what i do in the corner it yeah some work and it's so obviously that's it's got it. just so much but, potential um, yeah it's so nice like to kind of vision how you want to do it yeah and, like, you're already researching kind of kitchens so oh my this. gosh i know yeah. i know i can't wait i i just i have so many visions and so many ideas um and yeah i've just got to not get too carried away <laughs> with planning and spending um but yeah really excited and we'll keep you guys updated obviously as soon as we hear anything back but yeah we're gonna love you and leave you is that the end of this vlog? it is see i think yeah i just think what that we should wait a few days to end this vlog to show the paneling to show the paneling all done wow painted wow and that's because you You're know just you could say that i vlogger. really like you guys <laughs> whereas Carlos just wants to be like bye bye i'm like I think we've brought you this far on the panelling journey. We've had our burst pipe. <laughs> we should wait to see the final product. James, you're just so loving. I'm just a great guy. You're you know, just... I, know. I didn't know you were just such good bezies with this community. Um, That's lush. Yeah, the channel is James. And, and Karis. Karis. Let's remember, you're kind of tagged Aww. along the end there. That's really sweet. I'm usually the one thinking of all the cute ideas. That was <laughs> lovely. Yeah, we should. We'll stick around, show you the panelling at the end of this video. See you in a few days. See you soon. Hello guys, it is a few days later. You're welcome. <laughs> about what you've got there. <laughs> you Look, but we've see. done it. We've already said you're a great vlogger yeah, who... Yeah, we literally just said it as well. I got confused because it's a few days for I us. I know. It's like literally 10 Two seconds. Two seconds later after yeah. we've praised James. Yeah. Hello you. Oh, Hello you. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course he is. It is so funny. Um, to make some iced coffees. James is making us iced coffees. We're just about to head out on a dog walk. I was just about to look. I've got my sporty mum gear on. I've got the trainers. I will not be wearing these on a dog walk. Actually, we've just been out. Um, I've got the gym shark zip up on, which they don't sell anymore, which is so sad because it's the cutest zip up ever made ever. And it's just like. I wish I could link it, but they don't sell it anymore. But um, yeah, I was just trying to, you know, be that cool mum in my hat. But you, why do you find hats so funny on me? Why do you find hats so funny on mummy? Yeah, you just instantly laugh whenever I wear a hat and you pull it on. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? You're trying to put it back on my face, cover my face with it. Literally. 
Anytime I wear a hat, she's just like her dad. Just laughs at me, wearing a sun cap. Trying to get the sun out my eyes. Um, yeah, I don't suit a hat, but I do try and pull them off and uh, don't let anyone offend me. I, I do not suit a hat. My ears like poke out, but yeah, I don't think either of us have particularly suit a hat, but I do. You know what, this is so beautiful. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I wear one loud and proud though, because they are just great and practical. Anyway, so guys, the panel is done. Sorry, the camera, I accidentally touched the screen and I don't know how to use an actual camera. Despite the fact I've been vlogging for years and years and years, like six years now, I still just put it on auto and just go with that setting because I don't actually know how to use a camera. Anyway, so panelling is done. The sun is beaming in, so that's probably not the best place to show you, but I feel like we should just start at the front door, actually. If I come out here, da, 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 da. I can't even see. Hi, Mila. Hello, cheeky girl. In you come. It is done, guys. I'm still debating colour. I'm still not sure what we're doing yet. I'm still swayed towards this colour. Gonna see what you guys vote for. We've got a skimming stone up there. We've got so many samples to look through. Um, but yeah, here is the panel in all its detail. We've got a bead on the top. We've got the MDF boards and then we've got the beading on the inside. Um, and once it's all painted, because it will all be painted, sorry, I'm trying to hold Amber whilst <laughs> vlogging, whilst shutting a door, so it's a bit wobbly. But yeah, at the moment it looks a bit kind of like, obviously strange without it all being the same colour, but once it's all painted the same colour, it will look so good. And, oh wow, you made them in my little mugs! I do. I do. I do. I, do. I, do. I, did. I do. I'm in the world of my own today. I know. We've been very busy today, haven't we? It looks so good. Stay. Guys, we love it. My arm's going dead from holding Amber. She's getting quite heavy. Oh, should oh, I take swapsies. baby? Hi, baby. Baby swapsies. Oh, wow. She honestly is growing up so quick, guys. My arms aren't actually dead. There we go. Not too exciting. I'm not going to do any more zoom ins because you have seen the panelling in all its glory, I would say, from those clips. So you're there, aren't it, Very excited to paint it. Once it's painted out and like we kind of put the whole way all back together and everything and put a few more new bits and bobs up that we're going to have, I think it's just going to feel like a whole different space, which is oh, going to yeah. be really nice. Oh, yeah, big time. It looks amazing. Um, so I think it's going to look amazing. Yeah, if you haven't yet, let us know on the colour because I'm genuinely the most undecided I've ever been on anything ever. So I'm just gonna, whatever you guys vote for. I'm feeling a bit undecided for. as well. That's I crazy. know, because I can see both sides. Yeah. So please help us out. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna love you and leave you there. Um, yeah. And you can say bye. You say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. I don't know, no one's waiting You bye. don't get it. <laughs> it's confusing. Uh, love you guys, see you in the next Thanks video. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>